I'm here with an unboxing video of Clive and Ranch for Nintendo Switch. I'm Mark Land. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button, also share with your friends if you don't mind. Also, please comment, ask me a question, or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below, and you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. If you want to become, become a fan of of me, Auckland, then subscribe to the channel and you will become a fan. I hope so. Alright, this game right here has been getting some hate. It was developed by one person, which is awesome. But what they're hating is that he should have took, not necessarily took more time, but he should have gotten some help with making sure that it looked the best that it could possibly look before it got released. I think the game looks fine. It reminds me of the old school games on the older re retro consoles uh, to where it's a 3D platformer, exactly what it is. And it just doesn't look like modern day graphics. I'm fine with that. The game looks great. I like how it looks. It seriously reminds me of Banjo-Kazooie. And I'm really looking forward to this. You play as a rabbit. And you have a monkey friend. And you twirl him around above your head like a helicopter. And you glide across platforms. Or you can just jump. And then do a combination of that to get to where you're trying to get to. I'm looking forward to this, so let's do it. An adventure through time and space. Meet Clive, a rabbit, and wrench the monkey on his back. Your adventure takes you hurling through time, hurling because you're literally hurling him, uh, through time and space in a 1950s refrigerator. So a refrigerator is your time machine. Very interesting. I guess a monkey and a rabbit could fit in a refrigerator pretty good, I guess. On a heroic quest to throt, I guess how you, how you say it, the, uh, I don't know how to say this word, Dr. Dr. I don't know. He's the villain. Stop his evil plans. I can't say that word. It's, it's Dr. D-A-U-C-U-S. And then stop his evil plans. Alright, travel the world and timeline. Pu puzzle, platforming, collect, and more. Meet friendly faces and fearsome foes. Alright, there's the back. There's the front. And then the side. I feel like there's something else in here besides just the game. So that's pretty cool. Please let me know down in the comments. Have you ever heard about this game? It took 10 years for this game to be made. And now it's finally out. And that's kind of messed up how some people are hating on this game. It's like, really? Um, they have played the game and then they're hating on it. It's like, I don't know. People have, have their own opinions and stuff like that, so... There you go. That's how you take it. Alright. Open it up. And okay. So it has a manual. Uh, and that's what was on the inside. And, it, and the manual was loose. So it felt like it was something in there. But that's what was in there. It's a manual. That's cool. The mini manual. You see that? Mini manual. Alright. Alright. Okay, so we got we got the story. Then we got controls and move sets with the pro controller being pictured, which is my opinion the best way to play Switch because of the Joy-Con drifting, which I have heard that a lot of people out there aren't having Joy-Con drifting problems. That's fantastic that y'all not having problems. I <laughs> The switch that I have has got problems with drifting, and the Pro Controller is great. 
and it looks like we got some artwork. So let's check out the artwork. It look, looks like the refrigerator uh, being hurled through literally time and space. And you got the they're in space in the refrigerator, and there's the moon as well. Pretty cool. I like the artwork. It's awesome. Now there is a collector's edition out of this, and it comes with some art cards and soundtrack and all kinds of cool stuff. It looks pretty cool, but oh well. And here's a closer look at the game cartridge itself. Hopefully you can see it okay. Alright, I'm looking forward to playing this game finally. Um, I've seen gameplay on it and all that stuff and trailers and it's like, oh yeah, I want to get that. I'm excited to play this. So please let me know down in the comments if you've ever heard of this game. Are you excited to check it out? Um, if you have seen it, how do you feel about the graphics? Do you feel like the game needs to be hated on because the graphics are not good enough for you? Or are you fine with it just like me? I would love to know. Clive and Wrench for Nintendo Switch Unboxing. Alright, thank you so much. Alright, bye.